Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here, and today we have the information as to what is coming in update 11.11. .11. So we are going to go through it and touch on the main bits to make sure you guys know what you need to know to get the most out of this update. And one of the best things you can do in order to ensure you get the maximum profit from this update comes up right now. And before we get going, make sure you hit the like button, guys, and comment down below. I, I know it sounds like super cheesy and, and super YouTuber-y, but uh, it really is all about the algorithm today. Unfortunately, in YouTube, that's just the way it is. So to help this video get out there, make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment down below. It helps out so much in the algorithm. And again, that's like 80% of YouTube nowadays. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on into it. So the first and biggest event of this update is, of course, the New Year and Christmas celebrations. It's labeled as a New Year celebration in-game because in uh, Eastern Europe, New Year's is kind of the bigger holiday than Christmas, but potato potato. So, as they state, this update, I'm sorry, this event is starting on Friday, December 9th. That is this upcoming Friday, and will go through January 18th, so a little over a month. They note, we prepared loads of gifts and New Year activities for you to enjoy as part of our New Year celebrations. Check out the armory to grab a free Santa's gift container. I know the Santa's gift container will be waiting for you in the in-game premium shop. And you can find one more free container in our article dedicated to the New Year celebration on our website. Besides that, bundles featuring Santa's gifts, Santa's big gift, and Santa's mega gift containers await you in the armory and premium shop. The Hill of Blooms, Coal, Days of Worship's premium account, Elite Commander XP, Port Slots, Expendable Economic Bonuses, Expendable Camouflage Signals, or one of 174 ships. This year, we've updated the content of all three container types and added 40 ships to them, including Rare and Tier 10 ships. So... On this website, they have the um, details about the gift containers and such. I will give a link to this in the description down below. And, of course, there's certain chances, of course, the ship actually being dropped in the um, gift container. But I'll grab some screenshots of the premium ships that are in these gift containers. Uh, they have them sorted by tier here. So here's the tier 5 to 7 ships. The 8 to 9 ships. And then the tier 10 ships or the rare ships. Alright, and here's where you guys can make a simple couple of additions to your ports that can and will help you out a lot in this event. And this is something you need to do, I, well, I wouldn't say as soon as you, can, as you can, but something you should most definitely consider doing. So, they state battle performance bonuses. In update 11.11, .11, you can earn the traditional New Year's rewards for your battle performance by playing your Tier 5 and higher ships. The rewards differ depending on the ship tier. Tier 5 to 7 ships get 750 coal. Tier 8 to 9 ships, 75 steel. Tier 10 ships, 1 New Year's certificate. And super ships get 500 research points. They state a New Year certificate is a temporary resource that can be exchanged in update 11.11 .11 for 375,000 credits or any of the three types of Santa gift holiday containers. You can exchange one New Year uh, certificate for one Santa gift container. It takes three New Year certificates to grab one Santa's big gift container. One Santa's mega gift container can be yours in exchange for five New Year certificates. You'll be able to exchange the New Year's certificate for the three Santa gift containers two days after update 11.11 .11 is released. With the, up, with the release of update 12.0, each remaining New, Year, New Year's certificate will be exchanged for one Santa's gift container. Just like during the celebration of World Warship's 7th anniversary, players with 100 or more ships in their port will be able to obtain several rewards in a single battle at once. The number of gifts you'll you'll receive after each battle depends on the number of ships you have in your port and the amount of base XP earned in that battle. For example, a player with a port fleet exceeding 300 ships will be able to earn four gifts in one battle, one gift for entering the battle with the ship, and three gifts for effective performance in battle. Okay, so um, what you can do to make sure you get the absolute maximum from this is go back and I know credits is a bit of a grind right now, but if you have the credits, 
go back into your tech tree and if you sold those mid tier ships those tiers uh, five to seven ships or of course the tier eight and nine ships if you sold the whole line after you got the tier 10 you should consider buying them back because during this event it is super easy to stack up on coal and steel especially if you have a large fleet I myself, of course, I've gone back and I've sold a lot of my mid-tier ships as I was grinding through the lines throughout the years, and of course, even still today, because, you know, doing YouTube and such, you gotta grind ships out to, to review and things like that. In order to clear up some port slots, I've had to sell a couple of ships as well, and if you've got the port slots, you need to go back and just buy a couple of these ships, or as many as you can reasonably of course afford with your current credit situation and do keep in mind tier 8 ships gets you 75 steel steel is very hard to come by it's like the one resource that they haven't overinflated the amount in game with just yet and tier 8 ships and 9 ships will get you steel so yeah if you got to tier 9 to tier 10 you sold your tier 8 and if you've got the credits now man we'll look at buying those tier 8s back because again this is the easiest you are going to uh, the easiest opportunity you have in order to get this steel. Now, steel, if you don't know, can be exchanged at a rate of 1 to 10 with coal. So the 75 steel that you're getting on your tier 8 and tier 9 ships, even if you don't ever want to get a steel ship, that can be transferred to coal, and that's the same as the 750 coal that you're getting on the tier 5 to 7 ships. And it's a pretty generous um, event. They've gone up quite a bit on the rewards that you get in this event. It used to be, I think, like 300 coal or something like that for Tier 5 ships, but now Tier 5 to 7, it's 750, 8 to 9, 75 still, and Tier 10 ships, you get that one New Year's certificate. So, again, guys, if you haven't, well, if you have sold off a lot of your mid tier ships, it's looking like you may want to buy it back. And again, I mean, a Tier 7 ship gets you the same resources as a Tier 5 ship. So tier 5 ships are still relatively cheap, so if you sold your tier 5 ships, I'd go back, start there, pick those up, see how many credits you have left, and if you can, then go back, get your tier 6 ships, so forth and so on. That's what I would do, and I highly recommend everyone that's watching this take advantage of this event. So, get your coal so you can get your, 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 your freemium ships and get your credit grind down even easier with those coal ships. And as far as the um, new certificates goes, if it's the same as last year, the mega gifts are the ones you want to save up those new certificates for. I think like two years ago, the Santa's big gift container was the one you want to get because it was kind of in the, the nice middle zone between the super cheap one, like the Santa's gift container, and the mega gift, which was expensive. Again, five certificates, but I think they've retooled it to where the mega gift container is the one that, that you will have the best chance of getting a premium ship out of if that has changed i'll of course release a, a video going over the gift container event once it actually goes out but again big event at the end of the year one that many of us look forward to it oh also with the uh the ability to get multiple ship ships um performance bonus out with the system they have in place this doesn't mean that if you have under 100 ships, you aren't going to get these rewards. You are. You just have to go through and play each ship individually. But when you have over 100 ships, you can get an additional ship's reward with your performance bonus. And, of course, it ticks up the more ships you go. I'll put this chart up on screen so you can see exactly how this system works. All right. So, again, an event that I am looking forward to, and I'm sure many of you are as well. So they also note, Carol Clash, two teams of Santa Clauses from the North and South Poles have found themselves in a gift delivery race. You need to choose which team you want to ally with and join the race. When you cross the finish line, each team, uh, each team will give you a New Year holiday reward. One of two themed commanders, Papa Noel for Pan American ships or Scrooge Nicholson for British ships, each with six skill points. One of the two Silver Sword permanent camouflages for Holland or the Conqueror will also be among the rewards. The first time you earn a reward playing on either team, you also receive the Carol class achievement. So just again, the uh, event for the update. By participating in the event, you'll earn Frosty Tokens, which can be exchanged for various valuable items, New Year Commanders, and our festive finery containers until update 12.0 goes live. You'll be able to obtain up to 12 festive finery containers in total in update 11.11. .11. When opening the 10th container, you'll guarantee to get a bonus package for a tier 8 ship if you haven't already received it by that point. 
If you have all the items in the camouflage group, you will receive 10,000 coal. That's pretty nice. You can obtain additional frosty tokens in the armory in exchange for credits, free XP, community tokens, and doubloons. By participating in various activities on our website, you can obtain a theme commander named Pirate Santa for Commonwealth ships as the final reward. You can also unlock a special combat mission that offers the Frosty Knight commemorative flag as a completion reward. Man, uh, Pirate Santa goes hard. He is one that I definitely want. Alright, um, so going on down to the dockyard, this, this update does kick off the next dockyard. So the Hamburg Dockyard kicks off the construction of the Admiral Schroeder in update 11.11. .11. The ship is armed with as many as 8 to 305mm guns housed in four main battery turrets. She is well suited for combat at medium and short ranges due to her quite solid durability and decent, decent arm protection for a cruiser. Closing in on a hostile ship will trigger her powerful long range and accurate secondary guns. Wargaming, give my Schlieffen its secondaries back. I have to mention that every time we bring up the Schroeder. To repair our torpedo attacks, her trademark German Hydro acoustic search consumable will certainly come in handy. The cruiser had good concealment and is able to quickly change flanks and take up any needed position owing to her engine boost with improved characteristics. Alright, so let's see how many phases we got to go through this time. The construction process of the dockyard uh, compromises 30 phases. I'm sorry, comprises 30 phases, not compromises, comprises 30 phases. You can advance through shipbuilding phases by completing dockyard missions or by spending 1715 dubs to pass through each phase. The combat mission spans six weeks of update 11.11 .11 and the first two weeks of 12.0. The dockyard itself will remain in your ports until the start of update 12.1. So we have two full updates with the dockyard and eight weeks for the missions. Okay. In total, you can progress through 26 of the 30 shipbuilding phases by completing combat missions. Completing the 19th phase will bring you Renown 44, the longer awaited actual Renown in all of her glory. This is the real Dockyard, you see? The, 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 the Renown, because this is the Renown we deserve, and now we're finally getting here for free. Upon completing the construction process, you will receive Admiral Schroeder and the War Paint Permanent Camouflage with a port slot, commanded with 10 skill points and commemor commemorative flag. Alright, so the Schroeder, I'm still, uh, if you can't tell, quite upset that the Siegfried was nerfed, and now instead of fixing the Siegfried, they're like, Here! Grind out this dockyard ship instead! <sighs> At least we're getting renowned for free. Alright. Uh, oh, of course, too. They note here, then, if you complete the construction of the Schroeder by spending doves, make sure to keep progressing through the dockyard. Completing each sh shipbuilding phase will bring you 250 still. So, yeah, easy way to get still if you're okay at throwing your money at the wall. Alright, the Japanese Light Cruiser event is continuing. Of course, uh, I'm assuming that this is the final... Yeah, so when update 12.0 goes live, the Japanese cruisers will become available for all players to research. I was assuming this was only going to be a two-part update. Uh, they we got a three-part early access event with the uh, I think the um, Soviet carriers back in the day. Uh, there's a new battle pass kicking off with this update as well. As always, again, this is going this event's going to be around for a while. Well, this feature is going to be around for um, assuming the rest of the game's life, unless they decide to go and do away with it. All right. Uh, there is a bounty event going up. They note, we regularly hold special in-game activities where players need to spot one of our volunteers or contributors in battle and sync them to earn a reward. Starting from update 11.11, .11, this activity is called Bounty Event. You'll see it displayed in the game client when the event is active. During the activity, you need to hunt down one or more players with the bounty status in random battles and sync their ships. In battle, a bounty player can be identified by a special icon in the form of a target. You can also try out the bounty role by submitting an application during the event announcement and joining the ranks of randomly selected players. Fend off overwhelming enemy forces or hunt down other bounty players if you encounter if you encounter them in the opposing team. Players who complete a special combat mission for the event will earn rewards, and those who manage to sink bounties will get the bounty hunter commemorative achievement for each of them. Alright, this sounds pretty fun. Um Huh, randomly selected players this time instead of volunteers like they do for like the Halloween event or things like that. So that's interesting. Okay, cool. Um, I do wonder if you can opt out of it if you don't want to randomly be, be selected for it though. Because I can imagine, you know, if someone's having a bad day, then they get selected to be the bounty target. I can imagine that might be a little upsetting. 
uh, Brawls is kicking off again. It begins on the 12th of December and ends on December 19th. And it's a 5v5 format in Tier 7 ships. Okay. Um, and they said, we've improved the balance of divisions and made them available in this battle type again. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And they are saying we're going to have five brawls in different formats this time. But the first time, it's uh, 5v5 Tier 7. All right. Armory. With the release of Update 11.11, .11, Tromp is coming to the Armory in exchange for 238,000 coal. So, um, yeah. Good ship. I gave it a 7 out of 10. If you want a full in-depth review, my review is up on the channel. You can go take a look at that. But TLDR, good ship. Airstrikes are difficult to get a hold of, but very powerful when you can use them. Big ship, lots of HP, not that maneuverable. Hard-hitting 150mm guns. That's a very quick summarization of the Tromp. Again, you can go check out my review for um, her in detail. Um, let's see, is there anything else worth a note in this update? Uh, da, 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 I think that is it. Um, yeah, that's all the big news for this update and what you need to know to get the most out of this update. Let me know what you guys think about this update in the comments down below. I'm pretty excited for it. Of course, the big New Year's event with all that free coal and still just waiting to get picked up out of your port. Very glad about that. Again, make sure, guys, you go back, buy back your Tier 5 and Tier 6 ships. Those guys are going to be the cheapest ones. And again, it doesn't matter if it's a Tier 5 or Tier 7 ship. You get 750 thousand um, 750 thousand coal 750 coal for each of those ships so again make sure you go back do that and get the most you can out of this out of this event give you guys some new guys think in the comments down below hope you guys have a wonderful tuesday have a wonderful rest of your week hope to catch you guys in the next one <laughs>